you know, you always struck me as one of those young politicians, BJP's young politician, who had a lot of strong personal convictions. You know, you, you had your beliefs, you were very strong about your views. Somewhere in this world where you're communicating in, in a short attention span, do you feel that your personal convictions are kind of, you feel forced to match your personal convictions with what the, with what the audience wants? But the audience ka conviction should be matching with yours now because you're in this game that... You are absolutely right. Uh, to some extent, that's absolutely true. Because, you know, ultimately, you have to be relevant in the game. And to be relevant, you see, we are in a democracy. And in democratic world, you have to think about people's aspiration. You have to match the people's aspiration. And a leader has to mold the people's aspiration. So it is always, you know, a fight between matching the aspiration and molding the aspiration. Matching the aspiration is very easy because you have to flow, you have to actually swim with the flow. But molding the aspiration is something which is very tough. And I think as a leader, you have to understand that going with the flow always is not the way. You can win election by going with the flow, but if you want real transformation, that real transformation can come only when you have capacity to mold the views of people, to mold the aspirations of people. The one thing that I feel sometimes is common between advertisers and politicians is that sometimes both have to be a little liberal with the truth. Uh, you, you know, you've got to kind of say things that you need to say. To, uh, if seat in the seat, then how will you be able to uh, think? Uh, how do you how do you process that when you're faced with this problem? Ki, you know, sometimes you've got to you know duck a true question, or you've got to you know not go to a space where you know you're on a weak footing. How do you how do you process so this? I, I've convinced myself there are always three sides. One is your side, one is my side, and one is true side. <laughs> so, I mean, you have to you know have to 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 have conviction that you are right but there is always a true side and yes there are there are uh, certain times when you have to duck the questions because you know you you just cannot justify every single thing so many things happen in your life there are certain things in your life where your conviction doesn't allow you to you know justify those things but ultimately you have to live with truth because in today's world if you are out of game you are out of game if you remain in your game, then you may be able to act up to 80% according to your conviction. So I think for me, if you ask me, uh, I would always like to be in the game and then to work with my conviction.